Yo, what's up, my mullet sharp here, bringing you guys a gameplay from the qualifier. Uh, we are playing against, I forget what their team name was, it was like, uh, hold on, he has in his tag, I-U-G-G, -G, you guys see it's Adrenaline, Advice, Keptar, and FT Wonka. And this is our very first round that we had to play. Uh, if you guys didn't look at the brackets, and you guys saw the update last night, we won our first round, and we won our second round. Uh, and we, the team we played against the second round, I believe was, they were called Talent. Um, never really heard of, uh, I've heard of, like, FT Wonka and Advice and some of these dudes. Uh, never really heard of any of the dudes on Talent. Uh, but in third round, we are playing against Complexity, and that is tomorrow on Thursday, February 14th. So that's when we're playing against them. So be sure to tune in. We're going to be on the MLG stream commentated by Puckett and whoever else he decides to get, whether it's Fizz or Hash or Revan. I don't know. So we're going to be on the MLG stream. I'll, I'll be tweeting it out and stuff. Uh, today, actually, I believe we're playing in a CTF tournament. If it does happen, I don't know. Sometimes if they don't have enough teams, then it doesn't happen. But we will be playing in that CTF tournament. And if we don't do that, then we'll, we'll at least be scrimming. Now, something with this qualifier, I, I don't really understand how they did the seeding, but there are a lot of teams that have really easy brackets, and there's some teams that have some bad brackets. Uh, what I mean by bad brackets is you got to play against good teams. Like, I know Unite, Unite, Soar, Thrust, and Envious were all put in, like, the same bracket. Like, uh, Unite and Thrust played first round, uh, and then Unite has to play against Envy next round, and, and then if they win that, they have to play against Soar, I think, and then they have to play against Optic. Now, we, like I said, have to play against Complexity, and if we win that, then we have to play against... I don't really... I didn't really see anyone else on the other side. Uh, but then we're gonna have to meet up with with Fariko if if all goes as planned, and you know we win and they win, we'll have to meet up with Fariko. So that's what the bracket's looking like for us. Um, and then, like I said, there's some teams that just have like a free ride to like round eight because there's no really. I mean, not, I mean, I wouldn't say it was a free ride, but uh, as far as you know, where the 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 top teams that have been in Frag Cup the, at UMG and just from scrimming, uh, there's no really top teams in that part of the bracket. <clears throat> So it's pretty interesting. I don't really know how they did the seeding or any of that. Uh, it is best of threes. You play hardpoint, CTF, and then an S and D if it goes to the last map. We two of both the teams we played, so we didn't have to play S and D. Uh, I think it, it needs to be. It, it should have been best of five. If I would have ran it, it would have been best of five. I think just because it gets rid of you know the flukiness of it uh, and and whatever you know. Um. You know, just like just like the randomness of, you know, anyone can win one CTF and one S and D. You know, they have to win two. I, I think I already talked about this in the video, but I would have had best of five. Uh, and then also, I don't really know about this whole v the whole veto map thing. I think we did it wrong in our match. Uh, I don't really, I'm still not really 100 percent sure how it works. But they have a new veto map rule where you instead of it giving you random maps and you just play it like that, uh, the team that is not hosting, actually the team that's hosting gets to, or actually, I don't, I see, see, I really don't even understand, I think it's the team that's not hosting gets to veto two maps, and then the team that's hosting gets to veto one map, and then, I don't know, I'm pretty sure we did it wrong, the way we did it, uh, but the way we, the way we ended up doing it, the first round we played hardpoint standoff, and then raid CTF, and then the second round we played hardpoint standoff and raid CTF, so we just played the same maps in both rounds, which I, I was like, you know, I think if it was just random, it would show, really show what team is better, because they should have to, you know, be able to play on every map, not just their only, the strong maps that they're good at, uh, because I don't really see, I don't really see too many people picking slum CTF ever uh, to be in the rotation, just because that's kind of a map that is, no one really wanted in competitive play, because no one really scrimmed it, and it, it's just that it's pretty much the only CTF map that you can get a really good spawn trap going. So I don't really see anyone trying to pick that map to play. Uh, so you know people don't really have to scrim on it unless. See, I still don't know, understand how the whole veto rule works, and I'm actually I'm actually gonna have to read up on it tonight and, and try to figure out how that thing works before we play against Complexity. Uh, so tomorrow on the MLG stream, Complexity, eight o'clock. Uh, they'll probably start it maybe late or early. I don't know. I, I, I think I saw Puckett tweeting about 8.30. Maybe. I don't know. So just follow me on Twitter if you're not at Fierce Sharp, and I'll be sure to tweet that out and stuff and be sure to let you guys know. Now, I wanted to use the rest of this video to talk about Call of Duty XP or the COD Championship, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, it's not Call of Duty XP this year, but it's pretty much the same thing, same prize. Um, John is allowed to play. Sundance tweeted yesterday that... Uh, well, actually, his first tweet was kind of confusing because it said teams. He didn't use any punctuation, and it was like, 
Uh, teams using players 17 and plus uh, young, with younger players will now be allowed to, will you be able to use a sub? And so he didn't use any punctuation, so everyone was like, wait, hold on, is it saying teams uh, can use subs or teams can, um, young, younger players can play? So then he like tweeted, uh, people that are 17 can play, now get off my lawn. So basically, people that are 17 are allowed to play uh, in the tournament. So now all we have to do is focus on our team. You know, there's no worry on us to where uh, if we can even go to Dallas with John or, you know, after Dallas, what are we going to do if we do qualify? Uh, there's no worry on us. Everyone on our team can play. John was the only worry. He is 16 right now, but he will be 17 in March, and that is before the tournament. The tournament's in April, so uh, we will be able to play with him. So that's, that, that, that's good news. Uh, me, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of mad that they announced that, but then once again, I was happy. Like, if I didn't have John on my team, everyone was, like, giving complexity. Uh, like, Aix was tweeting out, oh, they're just doing this for scump, blah, blah, blah. And, and everyone was giving J-Cap crap because he was tweeting about it. Um, I think if I was one, on one of those teams, I would have been pretty mad. Uh, and for the reason being, last year, I wasn't old enough to play. Uh, I was I was 17 in, in the last COD XP, and my team came in third without me. Uh, and I think if I was on the team, we we could have won. We could have came in second. We could have came in third. I don't know. But I don't know where we would have came. But, I mean, third place was still good. Everyone on the team got 30000 each. Uh, and I was 17, so I couldn't play. So I had to sit at home and watch. And the fact that now that they're letting 17-year-olds play, I can see where people are kind of mad that, you know, they couldn't play last year. But now, you know, uh, MLG is letting letting people 17 and up play. So I, I can kind of see where people are mad, but then, you know, coming from me, I'm on a team with a 17-year-old. I want him to be able to play, so I can't really, you know, express my my anger towards that and and say that I'm, that I'm mad about it and, and whatever, you know. I don't know. Everyone And everyone was giving Optic a bunch of, a bunch of crap and Scump a bunch of crap because, uh, I mean, it was mainly... It was mainly them that were pushing for it. They were they were the ones, you know, because Scump couldn't play, and all the Optic fanboys were mad because Scump couldn't play, and Scump's mom was tweeting, you know, Vonderhaar and, and Sundance, and they were all trying to work it out, uh, which it, it, it's not – I'm not, like, sitting here saying I, I'm, I'm mad at Optic because or, – or blaming Optic, saying, oh, MLG's riding Optic's dick, and, like, everyone on Twitter. Uh, I'm just saying that uh, – I, I'm I'm kind of the only the only part that I'm mad about is that I was 17 last year and I could have there there was a chance I could have played last year if something if something like this would have happened last year I'm just saying that's that, that's all that I'm saying I don't know what 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 happened last year and why they couldn't let 17 year olds play uh, maybe it's because no one tweeted at him or actually no people did tweet at him I, I remember it was when they first announced that there was an outbreak like oh why why do you have to be 18 this is bullshit um, but I don't know. Whatever, John can play. That's good news for Fear. We don't have to make any replacements. John's the best player on our team. I have no problem saying that, and I'm happy that he can play. So we, you know, we are going to be hopefully competing in it if we do qualify. Uh, I'm not still not sure if we're going to play league play just because league play to me is kind of bullshit. People are lagging out. People are playing eight like eight hours a day, which is understandable because I mean it's qualifying for a big tournament. But I just don't know if we have the time to to grind eight hours a day every day of league play. Uh, plus, we're already b far behind teams that are, you know, have been playing. But I don't know. So I don't know if we'll, we'll start playing league play or we'll just try to bet on coming on top eight in Dallas. Uh, but it's whatever. We'll try to get out there, play in the COD Championship, do whatever. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about the whole switching the rules thing, them changing it from 18 to 17 plus now. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Because my, my opinion is it's good. It's a good thing. But then there's like part of me that's like I'm mad because I was 17 last year and I could have been on that team that came in third. Uh, so let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, give this video a like. Helps my channel grow. If you guys want to see my channel grow, you'll take the time to click the like button. This is your boy Sharp. I'm out. Peace.